Hello and welcome to the 20th annual Los Angeles Regional Science Bowl. I'm Brian Ojima. Now when the day began, 42 teams from 32 different high schools competing for a spot in the final round. Now it's down to the final two, North Hollywood and Harvard Westlake. I want to introduce right now our resident expert, Adam Diamond. Adam, come on in here and talk about the pressure that's going on with these students right now in the final round. Well, these teams have been studying for the past year or two just for this one day. There's a lot of stress going on, a lot of excitement. The adre adrenaline is running. They're hoping to pull it out for the win. No stranger to, to this event, North Hollywood. They've won 14 of the last 15, including seven straight. What makes them so dominant? They come from a high school that has a tradition of winning Science Bowl. They know how to do it. They're not afraid to answer and compete with the best. They practice all year round for multiple years. They practice against the best of the best, and they hope to pull it out again today. You know, you've been a judge in some of the earlier rounds. You've seen Harvard Westlake. What are some of their strengths? They are very fast. They're not afraid to answer early, and a part of this question is knowing that you have to be confident in your answers. If you're confident, you could buzz in early and get those points racked up. Let's talk about how the final round works and the structure involved in that. What exactly takes place in the final round? Can you explain that for people that aren't familiar with the Science Bowl? Yeah, so it starts with toss-up questions, and the first person to buzz in has to answer that question by him or herself. If they get that question right, the team is asked a bonus question. If they get the bonus question right, they get 10 points. Now, if you buzz in early, then you have to... Um, you might get four points to the other team awarded. How much pressure is involved in this final round when you're competing for a regional championship? There's a lot of pressure going on because they've worked so hard for this past year. And they know that it all comes down to these last, uh, these last few minutes. All right, well, we're about to get underway in the final round. It's North Hollywood and Harvard Westlake for the regional championship. <laughs> Okay, Adam, so we're at the intermission of the final round with Harvard Westlake and North Hollywood right now. 34 to 32, Harvard Westlake with the slight lead. Give me your impressions so far. Both teams are doing extremely well. As you can see, it's a very close game. Both teams are buzzing in early, and that could be a, a big benefit to you, but it could also hurt you as well. If you buzz in early and you miss, you automatically award the other team four points. This has happened a few times. They might be a little bit overconfident by buzzing in early, but some, sometimes you have to do that if you want to be able to win the whole thing. Are you surprised at all that North Hollywood is trailing right now? I'm a little bit surprised, but because they've done so well in the past. But on the other hand, Harvard Westlake is just, you know, gunning to be the number one team. They've been, they've been doing well for so many years. This might be their year to do it. How much pressure do you think North Hollywood is feeling right now? I think they're feeling a lot of pressure. They have a long legacy to live up to. They know they're trying their best. They're extremely bright students. No matter who comes in first and second, both teams should be extremely proud of themselves. Talk a little bit about what surprised you most with Harvard Westlake. What impressed you most? Uh, their confidence always impresses me for both teams. Being able to buzz in early, just hearing a couple of the answer choices. When they hear the correct answer choice and they know what's right, they're not afraid to go for it. Unfortunately, a couple times uh, they thought they were right and they got it wrong. And so uh, North Hollywood got a couple extra points and vice versa. You mentioned how the scoring system works. Talk about how important it really is that you are positive that you have the right answer when you buzz in because that certainly can swing to the other team. Right. If you hear the question and it's not done uh, being fully read, you run the risk of giving the other team four points. So you want to be extremely positive that you're right. Once the question's done, you might be able to take a little bit extra chance and do an educated guess. All right. We're going to head back up to the main stage, Harvard Westlake and North Hollywood. <laughs> All right, so there you go, Adam. We have a winner in this final round. North Hollywood once again takes the championship. Talk about what impressed you most. I was very impressed about how, about how they came back. They started out pretty slow. Harvard Westlake was ahead, but they didn't get them down. They stuck with it, continued with the strategy of answering quickly, interrupting when they needed to to get the questions right and eventually pull out the big win. What was the key for you? Uh, obviously, in that second half, North Hollywood went on a long streak there, a long run. Talk about what was really the 
factor in all of that? There are a couple of questions that Harvard Westlake buzzed in early and they missed. That gave automatic points to North Hollywood. They gave them a few extra points, then they got the questions uh, that were asked of them directly, they got the bonus, really big swings in point values. Now you know what it feels like to win a championship. You were on the winning team back in 1993 as a member of Venice High School. Talk about what it's like to be able to win a championship like this. It's very exciting to win. You're on your way to DC to compete against some of the best schools in the entire country. And you just feel so great that all that hard work finally paid off. And talk about what's up next for North Hollywood. They're now gonna head to Washington, DC for a shot at that national championship. That's right, and they've done very well in the past. Sometimes they've won the whole thing. Last year they got second place, and they're hoping to pull out another big win. Well, the dominance continues eight straight, 15 of the last 16 for North Hollywood, for Adam Diamond, and the rest of the LA City View Channel 35 team. I'm Brian Ojima. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you back here next year. So long, everybody. <laughs>